Jacksonville State soccer team will be back at home here Friday night. Just one game this weekend. They play host to Belmont Friday, 7 o'clock at the JSU soccer field. We chat with Jacksonville State coach Julie Carlson. Back to last weekend. Um, Eastern Kentucky wasn't a good one there on Friday night. You came back Sunday afternoon and earned a split or earned a, a tie with Moorhead. So you had a draw and a loss on the weekend after dropping the one on Friday night. And I guess Friday night was the toughest loss that you've had to deal with this season, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe so. Um, probably since Mercer. Yeah. But um, I, we try to look at it as a bump on the road, uh, a learning process. And we just have to take one game at a time. And, you know, we can't look all the way down the road. We just have to go one game at a time, uh, figure out where the mistakes were made, how we can fix them. You know, this is the marathon part of the right. season. Um, so this is the long stretch. And so we just take baby steps here as well because it comes down to basic fundamentals. It comes down to, you know, fixing mental mistakes. Um, you know, EKU, you know, they came out hard and they came out to play us for sure, obviously. Um, they're at home and it's a long road trip for us, but you know, I think we learned from it. Uh, we grew from it. I think the success of our experience uh, helped us stay in the game uh, and helped us create opportunities to potentially win the game. And, you know, but I think it was a big weekend for our kids as, I wouldn't say a setback, but more of a bump on the road to get them to wake up a little bit. Sunday afternoon, the Moorhead State game, did you like the way that you came back following the loss on Friday night and the way you played against them? Yeah, I do. I, you know, I was proud of the team as a whole. I thought we countered well against them. The goal Courtney scored was a good goal, was well finished. Um, you know, there was a, an individual player mistake that cost us the initial conceded goal that we had. And, you know, those were the kind of the mistakes we were making over the weekend. It was just, you know, some individual individual defending errors that you know we're going to be addressing this week and hopefully get those fixed but they know what they need to do they just have to make sure they come out and you know I wouldn't say come out flawlessly but you know they're going to make mistakes they just have to be in the right place instead of the wrong place. Well you're still in a tie for first place yeah. so you're still got uh, possibly to win it or at least no worse than second in the league. Yeah it's it's funny the OVC is so competitive and so there's no pulse on who's necessarily going to come out and win it. I think it's a different person every year, and I think that keeps the door open for everybody to get motivated and know that um, we're going to beat each other up a little bit to try to get there. Um, I think at some point in the next couple of weeks, it'll probably play itself out, and we'll start to see uh, what the top, who the top six are. Um, but it's still going to be competitive game to game. Only one contest this week, Belmont on Friday night. From a standpoint, getting late in the season, it's nice where you have a day off, I guess, in there where you don't have a game on Sunday. Yeah, we, we told them if they did well, they'd get a long weekend. <laughs> um, you know, I think, like I said earlier, the marathon, the physical and the mental part of the season, um, you know, these kids, we need to make sure we just really watch them um, as far as their focus and uh, giving them breaks and getting them the time off that they need. Uh, because this group has done a fantastic job. Uh, they have given us everything that you could possibly ask for. They're a close team. Uh, they do everything together. And, you know, at some point, you know, you got to take that little bit of a break just to kind of refresh and regroup. And I think that's hopefully with a good result on Friday, that's what we're looking at. What about Belmont uh, coming in here Friday night? What do you know about them? Uh, I think they're still an underrated team. I think they're a good team. I think they're going to be very difficult to beat. Um, you know, the information that we do have on them uh, has been pretty much the same from all the scouting reports that we've gotten. We haven't seen anything significant change there. Uh, you know, they're a new opponent, so it is a little bit of a, an unknown walking in on Friday. Um, but we have an idea, um, and I think they're adjusting to OVC style versus the uh, A-Sun, where they came from, uh, the two styles are quite different. And, you know, I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to still be a tough game regardless. All right. Thank you, man. Good luck Friday night. Mm -hmm. Jacksonville State Head Coach Julie Carlson, ladies at home Friday night, 7 o'clock here at the JSU Soccer Field, taking on the women of Belmont. Remember, free admission for all Jacksonville State soccer. Talk some more Jacksonville State soccer with sophomore Courtney Hurd, who is one of the top scorers in the Ohio Valley Conference. Ladies getting ready for a home match on Friday night. It's the only contest of the week for Jacksonville State. They'll play Belmont here Friday at 7 p.m.
I know you don't want to, but let's go back and revisit the last weekend just for a moment. Eastern Kentucky Friday night, tough loss. Uh, you had an earlier loss to Mercer in the year. I know that uh, talking to Coach Carlson, she thought y'all probably should have won that one. But I guess the Eastern Kentucky game, mm-hmm. the toughest loss to to over to get over, I guess, the one that sticks with you the most. Mm-hmm. Um, well, definitely because it's a conference loss, and you never like those. But I felt like we definitely could have won. Mm-hmm. We definitely could have beaten them. Um, we just couldn't pull it off. And then Sunday at Moorhead, you came back and got a tie there. Did you think you played pretty good there? Um, I think I did all right, but it was good to, you know, I mean, it's kind of, it was kind of bad how they scored in the first four minutes of the game, and that was kind of my fault because I should have stepped to the player, but I didn't. And um, getting the equalizer was, it made me feel better about it, but. All right, seven goals this season. What's been the difference for you offensively between last year as a freshman and now this year as a sophomore? Um, well, I guess I'm not as nervous anymore, and I just don't think about it, and so I just do my thing. So last year you were thinking too much and uh, yeah. maybe a little bit more anxious as well? Yeah, definitely. Was there an adjustment coming out of high school and and, and making that adjustment to Division One? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the speed's faster, of course, um, and – play is a lot more easier because not everyone's a division one soccer player right. in high school the ovc so far this year do you think it's as good as it was last year everybody seems to be pretty balanced uh, the way the standings are yeah i mean in ovc play in conference like in any conference the play is going to be a lot harder um outside of conference um so yeah it's about the same it just depends soccer is a weird game you know anything can happen Belmont Friday night be the first time that you've played against them, new right. entry into the league. Right. Do you know anything about them whatsoever? I know nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's a little bit different where you only have one contest this weekend. Mm-hmm. How does does that change anything in your mind, having not having a Sunday game and just playing on Friday night? Um, well, I mean, it's a little weird, but we did this a couple weeks ago, actually, when we played Tennessee Tech and we had um, Friday off. So, but I mean, we're still most likely going to have practice Sunday, but I don't know what coach is thinking. I don't know. Now she says if things go well, you will have a whole weekend or a right. long weekend. That would be nice, wouldn't right. it? It would be very nice. How are classes so far? Uh, they're all right, actually. Doing pretty good. Theoretical mathematics is okay? Oh, yeah. Doing good there. <laughs> I do not need to get in a conversation about that. All right. Good luck Friday, okay? Thank you. Courtney Hurt, Jacksonville State's uh, leading scorer and the second leading scorer in the Ohio Valley Conference. The ladies here at home Friday night at 7 o'clock at the JSU Soccer Field against Belmont. Free admission for all Jacksonville State soccer.